So this quick little tip is actually going to introduce something to you that I think is really cool. It's called mock bands. And it's going to affect how you see values. And I think it's really interesting to understand part of how our brains and our eyes are working together to create what we see. So let's take a look at a photograph. Here what you're seeing are an example of mock bands. So you'll see it particularly when we have um, values that are a small gradation step down in lightness to darkness next to each other. Mock bands are not actually happening in the actual photograph. Instead, it's happening, it's a neural process that's happening in our visual system. And it's a way that our visual system enhances the sharpness of edges. So what you'll actually be seeing if you're looking at this, where you look at two values that meet one another, the edge of one value that's lighter will look even lighter next to the dark value it's next to. And the dark edge, uh, or the edge of the darker value will appear darker next to the light value that you're seeing. So what happens is you're getting more of a difference between those edges. You're actually getting a little bit of a darkening of the edge of your dark value. And so that really is what's helping us to distinguish between the two values. So let's look at the value scale here. And how would that necessarily affect you when you're shading and drawing? This is a value scale that I did with a 5B. And I tried to really make sure that my lines, I'm sorry, my values are consistent from side to side. But what you'll actually see happening sometimes, and because of the nature of mock bands, I can't tell if this is happening in my visual system or if it's actually happening on the paper. But sometimes what I'll see is that I darken the edge of a six just ever so slightly. And the way that you'll see it is that it looks ever so slightly darker on the lighter side of the six or towards the lighter value that's next to it. And it will look lighter near the darker side where it's meeting the seven. So sometimes that's happening because of the way that I'm shading. And sometimes I believe it's a perception problem within my brain. And it's not just my brain, it's everybody's brains. This is how humans are wired. So you might find this happening when you're doing a value scale or if you're doing something like our basic shapes like the pyramid and you're drawing two values that are right next to one another. And if you see that, know that you can correct for it to make it look um, like a total value that goes all the way across one plane or one value that goes all the way across another plane. You can adjust just a little bit, but I wanted to point it out because some of you might be seeing it and thinking, maybe I need to get my eyes checked. Well, you don't. You just have to know how your brain works and how our visual system is put together and know that it's going to impact the way that you draw sometimes. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.